Good evening guys and welcome back to another episode. I'm the Friendly Investor, your favourite investor channel. And today we're going to be looking at hot stock, hopefully going to the moon, February the 13th on Saturday. But it's Virgin Galactic and I'm also want to bring some hot news on the stock and the current movement recently and what to expect after this, whether it's good or bad with the, regarding the test flight and some other news on a particular company, hint hint, ARC. Kathy Woods, yes, and uh, look at her holdings and see where they're going at the moment and what she's doing with Virgin Galactic and how she's preparing for this flight. So I just want to talk about the flight. The flight window opens on February the 13th. Virgin Galactic announced the day of its new flight window for a rocket-powered test flight of its Spaceship 2 Unity. Really exciting, because if this is successful, we're going to see this stock shoot about 50%. It's my opinion. Pre-flight preparations are already underway at Spaceport America. New Mexico, including rigorous steps to repair the vehicles, pilots, teams and facilities with safety procedures as top priority. This is really important because one of these things that you can't rush a particular investment such as this. If you rush this going to the moon and an accident happens, it's going to cut off a lot of investments and a lot of hype around the stock will just crumble and the stock will take years and years to get back to where it is. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they do all the preparations, they do the right protocols and the right processes, and they have a successful flight on Saturday. Uh, they also, uh, the key objective of their upcoming flight will be to test the remedial work that has been completed since December 12th. Flight when the onboard computer holding condition of the rocket motor. Yeah, so this was their previous flight, it, it had a slight error, and hopefully they've recovered from it and they're ready to go to the moon and take me with it, hope, take the stock with it, with, with me uh, and my high hopes. So really good. Now I just want to talk about ARC Autonomous uh, Technology. It's Kathy Woods ETF. She's portfolio manager. Her team are incredible. She's incredible. You should really look at her because as a, you should look at her holdings if you don't want to actually invest in her and see the stuff she's holding and do your research around those companies because she is buying and selling, chopping and changing bar Tesla. The only reason she's doing te Tesla number one with ten percent, but. She usually keeps everything under 10%, so you can see a sell-off, but it's not because the stock's bad. She just likes to diversify her portfolio. But this is the one which everyone can invest in, so I'm sure her own portfolio is heavily invested in Tesla, but that's just my opinion. And here we can see Virgin Galactic, company 14th in the ARC Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF and the ARC-Q. That's the ticket symbol if you're ever interested in finding out about this company. Uh, S uh, yeah, ARC-Q, but in particular if you want to invest in Virgin Galactic, it's SPCE, and they currently have 1,741,144 shares. That's valued at 96 million. Let's just say 100 million. That's 2.5% of this EDF. So it's quite a huge chunk of money. They're backing this company. Hopefully, it's successful. And let's look at the stock previously and where I believe it's going to go in the future. So we can see at the moment. Over the one year graph, you can see it started off at about 33. This is when it IPO'd. She got straight back down because there really wasn't anything happening to it. Hit 11. And then we can see it slowly climbed its way back up, thankfully. And then with the news and the hype, there we go. That's where they had another little test flight. Didn't go well. There we go. Back to December. Although it didn't go well, a slight sell off, but huge upwards um, increase there. We can see which she, from the hype and the attention that's getting from the news and from the larger investor and institutions, as well as the retail investors. We see this stock has really had a high and it's really climbing at the moment. Hopefully it can really climb after this as well. My predictions after this flight, if the flight is successful, we're looking at this stock in $75 to $80 minimum. And if it's unsuccessful, there's some sort of errors, this stock will crash. I can see it hitting about $25 to $30 before going down a bit lower. If there's not really much if they have to do all the processes again and go for um, NASA and make sure everything's working fine which is delays everything delays after delay will ruin the stock of this but it's a, it's a really good long-term hold you're looking in 10 years time i would suggest holding and holding because this is a one trillion dollar industry by 2030 analysts predict analysts have forecasted so hopefully where it is now they've got market cap 12.3 billion 12.4 billion so hopefully in 10 years time we can really see as they have a couple hundred billion if you 20x that i can see the stock being about a thousand dollars in 10 years that's my prediction Thank you for watching my video guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Just remember this is not financial advice, it's for entertainment purposes only. Let me know what stocks you're looking at in the comments below and cheers guys, speak to you guys later, bye bye.